Hello and welcome to this video about AI in market research and we will start with Claude.ai and this AI tool can help us to find the research question. Uh, if we already have previous research in this market we can upload these files and ask questions about them to already get some ideas what's going on. Uh, for example you can extract some Amazon reviews or reviews on other websites, upload them in clouds and already get a feel for what's going on in the markets. But you can also ask questions to Cloud itself. For example, what um, sub pains are related to weight loss? And then Cloud will do its thing, which will take some time. And then we can dive further into problems or issues that customers might have. Uh, for example, we can ask them about fatigue, about mood swings, uh, social pressure, um, if they're going to events and so on. And once we have compiled this data, we can further refine our research question. And once we have done that, we can decide obviously on quantitative or qualitative research and there are some tools to uh, apply AI for this as well. For example, they set can be used for quantitative research and the great thing about this is that you can set up service with AI as well so you can provide some inputs and the AI can already provide a template and then the system can also dive further. For example, if people indicate that they are on one or the other side of an answering scale. You can ask further questions to make sure that they clarify everything. And this will allow you to really dive into questions and get a deeper response. So they set allows you to do this. Uh, obviously you can embed it in different places and yeah, just also summarize the results with AI so you can create some visuals to get an idea of what the replies were and yeah this can provide some more insights when you're doing quantitative research so let's look at qualitative research one of my favorite tools is user call and this tool allows you to use AI to call people so Respondents get a call and they just answer and from there they get one-on-one -on -one voice interviews with AI and the great thing about this is that you don't have to schedule anything the AI can work 24-7 so you get feedback a lot faster and also uh, yeah more people can participate in your research because they don't have to wait until a researcher is available you can also probe the AI to go further, so you have more an, yeah, unified results, whereas human interviewers might forget questions or they might skip certain IDs. And you can really scale this up because yeah, you just have to find users and add more AI bots and then you're good to go. So. Yeah, the AI can really help you to save time and effort. Obviously, the questions can also be set up by AI and you can approve them if you're interested in them. And you just send the link to customer and then the call can get started. So the main challenge remains finding customers in your niche. And there are some options to find them. For example, you can uh, use cold email where you provide people an incentive such as a coupon or yeah, just a monetary reward if they participate. Um, there are several databases uh, for B2B solutions. For example, Apollo allows you to filter based on uh, the role someone has in a company. And once you have this, you can also extract their email and just send them an email, cold email and mention that they will get the reward if they participate. You send them the link to the AI bot, such as user call, and you can start the interviews. And this will allow you to get a lot of iterations very fast because you can adjust questions based on feedback 
and uh, allows you to move a lot faster. Whereas in the past, we had to schedule interviews, um, which would just take up a lot of time. Um, yeah, so this allows you to iterate a lot faster. And in terms of finding B2C respondents, well, you also have websites where you can uh, yeah, purchase answers. For example, Google has a service that allows you to purchase answers. Um, there's also Amazon Mechanical Turk that allows you to tap into a survey respondents. So um, there are obviously some bias in this area, but you can still filter based on demographics, but yeah. Uh, it's just um, a quick way to find respondents. Obviously, it's not perfect, but if you don't have a database, it's a great way to get started. So in this video, I showed you how you can use AI to refine your question, your research question, and also two tools that allow you to actually perform the research. And these tools can also often analyze the results. So you are able to iterate a lot faster in your research questions and yeah, find the real insights you're after. If the, uh, this could be yeah, finding product market fits or adding features to products, all of this uh, are possible with this approach. And yeah, these three tools are really powerful if you want to go from zero to answer in a few weeks or even days if you really have the respondents ready to go uh, because you just send them a link and you'll get the results a few minutes later. So these three links can really help you to take your market research to the next level. So I uh, would encourage you to subscribe to my videos because I will do more videos on AI and market research and I wish you a wonderful day ahead as well. Thank you.